Hey guys, Mighty here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to prevent New World from breaking your GPU. Now this is mainly aimed at like 3000 series graphics cards because I myself own one as well, but this can also apply to 2000 series cards and uh, I don't think I've heard anything from like 1000 series cards being bricked, but it's always gonna be better safe than sorry. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the program uh, specifically catered for your GPU. So. I own an EVGA graphics card, but if you own like an ASUS or you own a Gigabyte, uh, you'll be looking for something like say GPU Tweak 3 for like your ASUS graphics card, make sure it's got like a power target option in there. Uh, same thing with MSI, you have a sub a power limit here. And for a Gigabyte card, same thing, the main window will show you the target percentage. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my EVGA program now and I'll show you guys the settings I use for it. Okay, so here we are in the EVGA Precision X1 program. So if you own an EVGA card, this will apply to you. So as you can see here, we have memory, we have GPU, we have target. So what you're going to want to do first is uh, you're going to want to make sure your power target is turned down from 100% because the game is drawing more load uh, to your GPU than it really should. So if you're pulling like 110%, 112% or higher, uh, those spikes could cause your GPU to brick. So if you want to be safe, you can turn this number down to about 80%. 80% would be safe. If you want to be even safer than that, and you're still extremely concerned, you could turn this number down to say like 70%. Uh, you can click on like your profile. So make sure you click on like number zero or whatever profile you use. Make sure the number is highlighted blue. You click apply and then you click save and that's that. But if you want to be even safer, uh, you can also limit your target frame rate. So I personally like to do this for pretty much all games. Uh, so I have a 144 Hertz monitor. I can go in here, I can turn on the frame rate limit. I can turn the sucker up to 144, make sure that profile is highlighted, click apply, and then click save. Uh, at the time of this video being created, the max FPS here is 200, uh, and one of the developers said that they'll be increasing this number to 300, which is nice, because when you do open up this precision program, or you open up your GPU specific program, it will reset the max frame rate in your NVIDIA control panel. But if you set it up in your GPU program itself, since it takes precedence, uh, the frame rate will be translated to the NVIDIA control panel. So that way you don't have to worry about your frame rate ever being exceeded. If I go to manage 3D settings, as you can see, the max frame rate is always going to be 144 FPS uh, from, from the setting. Now to make sure this is set up every time you reboot your computer, you're going to go to say something like setup or settings or whatever program you have, try and go to the setting interface. Um, I have mine to start with the operating system, start minimized, and then apply previous settings on load. So what this means is uh, the settings that I have set right now will be applied when I reboot the computer, which is important because if it's not, the frame rate could be uncapped and then your power draw could be 100%. So New World could cause that GPU to uh, to brick potentially um, if, it's, if it's not capped out at say 80 or 70%. Um, and then splash screen, I don't know what this is, but you guys can mess with these settings. But as far as I know, these three are, are good to have up. I always like to start this up with my, with my computer. So as always, make sure you just click apply, click save, double check, make sure your settings are set up properly. They are. And then that's that. You can safely close out of the program. And just like that, you have pretty much significantly, significantly reduced the effect of breaking your GPU when playing New World. So... With that said, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions in the comments below, feel free to let me know. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!